well, that's it. It's over. Vanguard Zombies has come to an end and Treyarch are going back into the shadows. This is the final time we will see them now for another two years until their next game in 2020. Four. There is a lot to reflect on, a lot to look forward to. We haven't had the best year in terms of zombies, but I also think we've got some good times coming. But one thing that we do have to remember is we've had Treyarch zombies now for the past two years. This year with Vanguard and also last year with Cold War. Usually we have a break in between, whether it be one or two years. However, this time we didn't. And so knowing that we're not going to be seeing anything from the studio for quite a while now feels in a way weird. Just before we continue though, I do want to say that today's video is sponsored by Cashamol. Cashamol is a reward app that literally pays you by playing games. It's available for Android devices and there are loads of different games to choose from. It's super simple, all you've got to do is download the app from the Play Store and you're ready to go. Once you've downloaded it, pick the game you want to play. Notice that some games have higher coin rewards than others, but after downloading and playing the game, you will then be able to see how many coins you've collected by playing. Once you've collected enough coins for a cash out, you can then pick the options on the Playout tab. It takes up to 48 hours to process payments after you've requested your payout, after which the money will be transferred to your account. You might be asking, what can you get exactly? Well, there's either real money payouts or gift cards of your choice for playing popular mobile games. There are a variety of options for gift cards, Amazon, Starbucks, iTunes, Walmart, and so much more. So there we go. Go ahead and get this for yourself. You can download the Cash em All app from the Play Store right now, where you can check out various games available inside of the app and play the games as long as possible. So yeah, you can download it using the link down in the description. And thank you to Cash em All for sponsoring today's video. Anyway, getting back to it. So the final map in Vanguard Zombies has now come and gone. We haven't actually heard anything from Treyarch since we've completed this map, since finishing the main Easter egg. But they did say something just before its release a couple of days ago. As this chapter of the Dark Aether story wraps up in Vanguard's final season, the zombies team will be stepping back into the shadows to focus on what's in store for the future. Sorry, no spoilers. And those could be the final words we will hear from Treyarch until their next game, which is due to come out now in 2024, just in case you weren't aware. Their next game, if we follow the usual schedule, would have come out next year in 2023, but apparently according to leaks that's now being delayed, it will come out in 2024, which is a great thing. I wouldn't usually say this, but looking at zombies and how it's been over the past few years, Vanguard, Cold War, even Black Ops 4 you could put into that. I think most people would agree that BO3 was the peak of zombies. Since then, it's been on a downward spiral, but especially with these last two games, Black Ops, Cold War and Vanguard, there was no break in between them, meaning Vanguard specifically was a rush game and, well, it's very evident just looking at the content we've gotten. It has a small dev team, a small budget, the standards aren't where they should be. In fact, some people would say that Treyarch standards have dropped, although it's not necessarily all their fault. It's sad to see where Zombies has fallen, and so getting this well-deserved break gives them around about two and a half years I would say to develop their next title that is around about the same amount of time they used to get and well look at the games that we used to get BO3, BO4 even though a lot of people didn't like it there's no arguing that that game started at least with a lot of content a lot of good hopes besides on the blue screens yeah the future looks bright but if we don't hear anything else from Treyarch now and these were their final words telling us they're now stepping back into the shadows to focus on what's in store for the future well my message would be goodbye. Not to you guys, not to try out forever, just for a little bit. They were dragged in to work on Cold War, that game initially wasn't theirs, it was Sledgehammer's. They were also dragged in to work on Vanguard Zombies, again, that isn't even their game, that's also Sledgehammer's. Treyarch haven't fully developed their own game since BO4, so in that way, was it kind of wrong to judge them on what they've given us? Yes and no, because we're still paying for a product. It's not our fault that what we've been given is rubbish, but there are valid excuses. We've also been given excuses that shouldn't really matter, or that shouldn't be the case, but they're definitely not working on this year's Modern Warfare 2. There won't be a game next year, and so with the next COD fully being theirs, having hopefully the usual big budget, the usual size zombies team, and the usual amount of time they get, it's very possible that we could see another great game, maybe on the level of BO3 or better. It really is possible. I know even me saying that, I can't quite believe it because I almost feel that Zombies is over sometimes. I feel like it's never going to return to those glory days, but there's always the chance. And with the next game, with everything lining up, it could be that. And if that was to be, I am willing to wait. What I did also want to do is give a little message to Trout, though I very much doubt that any developer's going to watch this video, but just on the odd case that someone did or someone 
passed on the message or they heard about it. Because over the past few years, a lot of people have said that Troyo don't listen to the community anymore, whereas it felt like they used to, whether they did or they didn't. I don't know, but at least it felt like they were listening. Lately, it's felt like their message has been, yeah, whatever, we don't care what you guys think, we're just gonna do what we want, which, I mean, you can do that, that is your game. But if you've followed me on this channel for a while now, you'll know that one of the things I like to do is gather a lot of the community's thoughts, whether it be comments on Twitter or YouTube, and I like to go over them, talk about them, show them in videos. I've done that for quite a while, and because of that, I also feel like I have a decent idea of what the general community thinks as well. I can't speak for everyone, we all have different opinions, but there are really three main aspects that make up a zombies game. The first one, the most important, being gameplay. The second one is easter eggs, which does kind of tie into gameplay, but an easter egg isn't something you have to do. It's more of, in campaign terms, a side quest. And then we have the storyline. And all three of those things, I think Treyarch over the past few years have kind of lost their touch on. They've kind of lost what the fundamentals of a zombies mode should be what makes it whether that be through innovation and them trying new things that's never a bad thing you should never diss innovation a development studio trying out new things there are loads of different examples i could give you for zombies for that the new perk system that we got in cold war the slightly different version that we see in vanguard or outbreak in cold war we could even go back to bo4's perk system the new implementations that we saw in bo3 zombies compared to bo2 bo2 introduced buildables zombies has always innovated which is good but it can be a bad thing when it doesn't work but you continue to stick with it and that's where i feel like tryout changed innovation in the past for the most part in zombies did work but when it didn't what tryout did was they either changed it up again and tried out something new or they would revert back to their old formula whereas now in zombies when Troyok have tried to innovate and it doesn't work i feel like either they've continued to stick with that and just say f it we don't care if you don't like it or they do something to make it even worse than what it is and again i feel that all just comes back to listening to what the community have to say and that does feel like something that Treyarch is missing nowadays even though Treyarch out of all of the development studios I know is probably one of the most mysterious there are some great devs out there that interact with the community a lot Treyarch has never really been that type of studio but during BO3 and BO4 it definitely did feel like there was a closer connection between Treyarch and the community it did feel like devs were talking or at least listening whether they were listening to the general community the general population or youtubers there was a closer relationship there the main person being in my opinion jason lundell since he left at the end of bo4 it doesn't really feel like there's someone that's replaced him in terms of having that character but it's not a big reason why zombies has gone where it has i would just say look at what you've done right in the past with zombies throughout all of your games not just BO3. I would say look at what you did right in World at War, Black Ops 1, 2, 3, 4, Cold War, and even Vanguard. Although, um, is there anything right with this game? Maybe not. Okay, ignore this one. But you can look at what you did wrong with this game, and with all of the previous ones, and use these as examples or a learning curve, and say, well, look, this is what we need to do with our next game. This is what people liked, this is what people didn't like, and I truly do believe you could use that to make zombies, well, good instead of saying we're just going to make what we want. Maybe that isn't the case, but that does feel like how it's been for a while now. But all I want, and I know everyone else wants, is deep down the best for this mode. Whether people are criticising it, praising, for the most part, it is for a good reason. People, most of the time, sometimes they do, aren't just saying stuff for the sake of it. There is a reason behind it. Luke, I know Troy know what they're doing. I think there is a lot of hope, but this break and them stepping back into the shadows is a good thing hopefully they can find what made their studio the best cod studio in the first place why people considered tryout to be number one 